camper life is not all it's cracked up to be. Evidently this plywood floor goes all the way out to the outside edge and it's not treated, obviously. It just absorbs the water, wicks the water, and brings it into the bottom of this wall. So I had to cut this little section out. I had to take the, the chair out. It goes up by the bench and it goes up near the wall here. And you see how it's all dark down here because it's water stained. And the insulation here is, was moist. It is still a little bit moist. It just kind of wicks it up. This is the softest wood you've ever felt in your life. Um, even the parts that aren't damaged. So I had to use my oscillating tool to cut this out. And I went ahead and took the whole bench out because I had to. The back of the bench has particle board. I mean, the smallest particles. It's like cardboard, it's like that powdery stuff. And had to cut all that off the back of it. So I cut the carpet out so we'll see it if in the event that something else happens. And right now, <clears throat> I'm not going to cover the back of this. I want to be able to see it uh, if it gets moisture on it again. I've had the fan running, trying to dry all this up. It's just been wicking over time. I don't think it's any one time that it leaked. I think it's just been wicking. And I'll show you the outside where it's been doing that. I think I have the same problem over here. And excuse the mess. We've had to move things around a lot. And we're getting rid of our winter stuff, putting it in, in our shop. But I guarantee you, under this couch bed, it's the same problem over there. Here's my bench, bench seat that I had to cut the back out of. There it is. You see, I cut the back out of it because it swole up so bad. I mean, this is a good half inch thick, and it was over an inch thick where it swole up on the bottom. So I had to carve it all out. So I'm gonna leave that open for now flatten those little staples leave that open for now I'll show you around the back side of the camper <coughs> the area where it's been wicking I believe is uh, one of the slide outs matter of fact all the slide outs are gonna do the same thing if you look I got this really cool piece of plastic and then it stops right here and there's nothing here so you can see that the, the wood is a little bit moist right there no, no uh, drip edge on this right here, which it should have had. Same thing with all of them. I mean, what idiots designed this thing or put it together and thought that that would work? But anyway, this is the area where I think it's been wicking. If you look, it's soft right here. You see how the OSB is soft? I guarantee you that's all my problem right there. Just comes around here, just sits up in here. This right here would cause it to drip off the edge. Same thing with this one. Probably doesn't get as much water on this side because that's hard. Uh, they did paint the ends black. Let me see over here. Hopefully it doesn't have much water coming off over here, but I have a suspicion that we're gonna have the same problem on this side over here. Ooh, that's as hard as it gets. I don't think that's a problem at all. But I am going to put some type of polyurethane sealant right here on both sides with a little edge on it to where it'll drip down off the edge and not curl around the bottom. Anyway, <clears throat> thought I'd show you guys the kind of problems we have with campers. Um, we've had, this is a 2015 triple slide. It's a Coachman. And right up there, we've had one leak that started dripping on our heads in bed. And, uh, and then the other side, that same spot, got ready to leak. Uh, the air conditioner, because of dust and everything on the evaporator cool and just dust in the air, um, it clogged up the pan and started dripping, on the, you know, dripping down on the floor from the air conditioner. We fixed that and went ahead and serviced all that. Uh, this Jayco Quest over here has had multiple leaks <clears throat> around the seam on the front top. I'll show you this one right here, but uh, it might even have leaked right here 
where we have shrinkage right here. So I, I went ahead and put some ductwork mastic in there to see if it would help. It hadn't had any leaks since, but we'll see if I can reach up here. I don't know if you can see that. But there's a seam going all the way across right over the edge of this. And that seam is where it has leaked so many times. And if I get up on the roof right there, and I jumped up a couple of times, I'd end up on the bed in there. Because the wood is rotten underneath it. Because it doesn't start leaking through immediately. It waits until your wood's rotten out. Campers are designed so poorly. So poorly. Uh, this is this is a Jayco Quest, and it lasted, I believe it's an 03 or an 01, something like that. So it's lasted 17 to 19 years, but it's had many leaks. Even the floor in the bedroom is rotted out a little bit because it had been leaking in the wall through, from the ceiling in that area I showed you, down the wall, on the inside of the wall, and then onto the floor. So right under the end tables beside the bed, one side's rotten. I had to put some boards over it. Um, it's pretty sad. This one's only five years old. And it's had two, three, you know, it's obviously had problems. One of the water lines uh, was loose, or, you know, from the factory, and it finally gave way. The drain line under the shower was loose, gave way. Um, you know, you, you're going to have problems with campers. Best thing you can do is make it very temporary to live in them. And another thing you can do is... If you buy one, make sure somebody had it under a carport. If you're going to buy one and is new, make sure you have it under a carport. You know, something like that carport right there, but bigger. If you don't have it under a carport, it's going to leak. So even if you don't live in it and you just have a vacation camper, you got to have a carport. If you don't, forget it. Don't do it. Um... We just lost our 05 camper. Uh, we sold it for pennies on the dollar. And my parents had bought it brand new. I bought it from them because they had tried to fix the leaks over the years. And next thing you know, the whole front of the camper, that curve right there, it was, it was all beat in and caving in once we took it on the road one time to take it to a different piece of property. It, the wind just pushed it all in because all the wood underneath it was completely rotted out. So, campers are a bad investment as it is. They go down in value, you know, just like a car. Um, but when when you got them out in the weather, they're going to go down real fast in the value. They're going to get torn up real fast. So, anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Um, there's our house over the top of the campers. It is uh, coming right along. Uh, we're so happy. We're going to be getting in that thing in uh, hopefully seven months. Thanks for watching.